Hey everyone, you're here with Lawrence again. Thanks for joining me. And today we're talking about responsibility. And what I really want to focus on is the responsibility that you have to yourself to make this the best life you can. So many people feel that it's because of the system. It's because of their sister, their brother, their family, their friends, that they're not where they want to be. If only people treated me nicer, if only I got that promotion, if only things have worked out for me like they should have. And I'm thinking to myself, why not take back that control and say the only person who is responsible and capable of changing your life is you. If you didn't get that promotion, it's because you haven't worked hard enough, you haven't believed in yourself, you haven't put in enough effort and energy to bring that promotion to you. And that is such an empowering feeling. I love knowing that the only person who can take charge of my life is me. A very good friend of mine once said that if you're not living your best life, the only person you're cheating is yourself. So I had a friend who used to be in the corporate world and he was quite a young starter and he spent about 15 years growing up the corporate ladder. And eventually, just before he was about to be named the CEO of that company, he decided to leave to the shock of everybody in the organization. They thought, what are you doing, Steve? You're throwing your whole life away. You've been working 15 years for this. But what they didn't know is that Steve had a seven-year-old boy at home. And that in Steve's eyes, the greatest life that he could live was to be the father that his father never was to him. The father that would go and watch him play soccer. The father that would help him with his maths before the maths test. So what Steve did was he stepped out of the corporate world and he started his own business. Because he thought, with my own business, I'd have the space to go and do what I want to do. When my son wants to play soccer, I can go and watch him. And about six months into that journey, Steve realized that it's not so easy starting your own business. It's actually really difficult. And one day, it was a Wednesday afternoon, and he was busy trying to come up with proposals, phoning clients, and his son, seven-year-old son walks into the room and he says, Daddy, I want to play. And Steve was heartbroken because of the last six months he had spent less time with his son than when he was in the corporate world and he could see the disappointment on his son's face so he looked to the left and he saw on his wall a picture of a large map and he grabbed that map he tore it into tiny pieces he gave it to his son he said son stick this together then we'll play and he thought at least I'm giving him something to do and hopefully I can finish my my work in the next hour or two then I'll play with him about 15 minutes later, his son walks into the room with this map fully stuck together and the dad's like, how did you do that? It took you like 15 minutes, I was expecting two hours and his son said, dad, it was easy. See, there's a picture of a man on the back of the map. And I thought that if I could get him together, the world would fit into place. And Steve at that moment knew that although he had disappointed his son for the last six months, he was on the right path. He was working on himself, he was putting in the hard yards for himself so that he could put himself in a position where in two, three years time, he could go and watch every single one of his son's games. He took that responsibility and he worked on himself. He built himself up so that his world would change. Now I'm asking you, I'm challenging you, not to blame anyone for the things not working out in your life. Not to blame the system, your parents, your sisters, your brothers, your friends. It's an easy route out. What I want you to do is I want you to sit down with a pen and paper and figure out exactly what the greatest version of your life will look like. Stick it up on your wall, have pictures, whatever it is that, that, that motivates you, knowing that in five years time, 10 years time, 20 years time, that at my funeral this is what I want to have people say about me I want that to be your vision I want that to be staring at you every day sitting in your room somewhere where you see it who you want to be how you want to be why you want to be there what do you want to have ask yourself these questions figure it out put it somewhere where you will see it every single day and every day review it every day make it your mission to make your life a great one no one else is going to do it for you. And in all honesty, no one's going to care if you don't do it. But I can tell you now, 
that if you don't let your light shine, that if you don't bring that special bit of flavor that only you can bring, the world is missing out. We are missing out if you don't share with us that special quality, that uniqueness, authenticity that only you can bring. We are going to miss out. So please, bring that greatness to the forefront. I want to see you in all your glory. I want to see you dancing up on stage, singing in front of a crowd. I want you to bring the poetry to the table. I want you to build businesses. I want you to build your kids. I want you to teach. I want you to be the astronaut. Whatever it is that you believe that you can be, take ownership. Make it happen and be the example for all of us. I hope that you will take heed of my message and be the best version of yourself. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found some value in what I said. If you want to further your self-awareness and self-development and go on this journey with me, there are four things you can do. The first one is subscribe to my channel. The second one is go check out my Facebook or Twitter accounts. I do daily posts, maybe that could inspire you. You can go and check out my book on Amazon, Changing the Game, 10 Perspectives to Taking Charge of Your Life. And lastly, go check out my website, www.lawrencebull.com to go and see my newsletter, other posts, and other things that might be of interest. Hope to see you soon. Bye.